I just wanted to come on here and do a brief video talking about why I'm not talking about the virus known as Corona. And it's a reason why I'm saying it like this, because I actually heard that uh, some YouTube videos have actually gotten taken down because people have said the name of the virus in the video or they've had the name of the virus in the title of their videos. And I'm not trying to take the risk because. Let's just say me and the platform known as YouTube have a love hate, sometimes more hate than love relationship. Um, but I wanted to come on here and briefly talk about why I have not done videos talking about this particular virus. As you pretty much know, this virus or as now as they've been calling it a pandemic has literally been capturing the airwaves online, social media, the television, newspaper, all types of media for the last week and a half to two weeks now. And it's like it's never going to stop. Like it's constantly overflowing with everything that's been going on. I mean, things have been getting shut down. Schools have been closing. Different events had to get postponed and or canceled. A whole, like, you know, the NBA, the MLB, the NHL, both all had to postpone and suspend their seasons and all types of things like that. It's a lot of stuff that has been going on or coming out ever since this virus pretty much has lost control. Like, they don't have a control over it as of right now. It's everywhere. As a matter of fact, I saw a map where they were showing the pinpoint places where the virus is located. And, of course, in Asia, it like it was so many markers on the continent of Asia that you could barely see it. It's everywhere right now. They pretty much labeled a pandemic. 45 has gone and declared it a national emergency. At this point, it might as well be a global emergency because it's on every continent in the in the world. It's everywhere. And they don't know they can't get a grip on it right now because they don't know. Uh, they probably have a cure for it or something to kind of control it, but it's so much, it's, it's spread out so much. They don't know, uh, how long the, uh, quote unquote cure is going to actually last or how many people is going to get. It's going to take a lot of money and resources to really distribute it. And they don't know how long this is going to last. They're hoping that by the summertime, it'll be, uh, gone because you know it'll be heated up and hopefully it'll break through and you know just kind of dissipate but i heard that if it's not gone by may maybe june then they're going to have a bigger problem on their hands so the reason why i have not been doing any videos talking about this virus is simply this because there's such an overflowing amount of information or news coming out about it, it would be so overwhelming for me to do commentaries about this particular subject. I would have to do videos day after day after day to in order to talk about this um, virus. But I have to give a shout out to Lisa Cabrera and True Royal Family because those two right there have literally been pumping out videos daily talking about this virus and giving you updates. So I would suggest if you want to know what's going on with this virus from their point of view i would suggest that you go and watch their video subscribe to their channels if they haven't done if you haven't done so already but for me it's so overwhelming because new stuff comes out every single day and don't get me wrong when they suspended the nfl well they actually did um, like, the, uh, you know, jobs and seasons and stuff like that. I wanted to get on here and record the videos, but then I know that if I did, I would have to constantly do more re repetition style, style videos about this virus. So this might be the one and only video that I do talking about this virus. And then I'm going to just leave it alone and if I do mention it again, it'll probably be at the end of the year when I do my recap like I did last year in 2019 when I did my uh, yearly um, recap when I had people call in and tell them or call in and tell what was their biggest highlight of 2019. Because I'm sure when I do it at the end of the year for 2020, this one's going to come up a lot. As a matter of fact, you know how at the end of every year they do a top 10 recap of the best moments or the biggest highlights of 2020? This virus is going to be at the number one spot for almost every list. I'm almost guaranteed it's going to be. If not, the number one is going to definitely be in the top three. And we're only in March. So we still have 
from April to December left to go through. So we don't know what is going to happen. We are. Well, we know another moment that's going to happen is that election in November. But I don't even think that election is going to even overpower what's going on right now. But we shall see. But that's my biggest reason as to why I have not done any videos talking about this virus, because I will be, like I said, overwhelmed with having to come out every single day just about to talk about this in heavy rotation. Now, one thing I had thought about doing, but I'm I actually, you know, snapped out of it real quick was actually doing like a weekly live stream, maybe at the end of every week, talking about the different updates coming out about this virus. That way I would only do one big live stream per week talking about what has come out. But even then, I would get tired of doing that. So, like I said, this is probably going to be the only time I really address this Topic and I gave you my reasoning as to why I don't want to talk about it. It, like I said, it's going to be too much because it's like you'll talk about one thing and something else happens, then another thing happens, then another thing. Like, like this, this, this virus has literally gone viral, and all a whole bunch of stuff has come out about it in such a short amount of time that you would think that this virus has, um, as far as this strain of it would have been around for years. And it's only been around for maybe a couple months because a lot little little do people know this thing really kicked off like in December, but it was very it was contained. But it wasn't until this month, uh, uh, within the last week or so, that it really grew to where that where it is right now. But I'm like I said, I decided I'm not going to talk about. It. As a matter of fact, so overwhelming in fact that a lot of my subscribers send me emails about the virus and what's going on right now as it stands one of the latest things that i heard is that in the state of ohio as if they need more problems right now is that a hundred thousand cases of that virus has been detected and i have a family member who lives in no, she doesn't live there but she goes to college there goes to ohio state she's a freshman and she has to clear out of her dorm by a certain time now mind you how much of an inconvenience that has to be for people who may live overseas, who may be not be able to travel home, or for those who may be living in other states who can't really up and move that fast. And then, you know, when you're moving out of a dorm, you're thinking, oh, we're going to wait to the end of the school year when we can, like, slowly pack things up and, you know, make a gradual process, but to just drop everything you're doing right now and pack up all of your stuff. And with my uh, family member being a female, you know, they have way more stuff than your average male as far as you know i don't have to go into complete detail about that but yeah it's like it's a huge it's like a it's a huge thing that's going on right now a lot of people didn't think it was going to get to this level but it has gotten there then you have the situation with tom hanks and his wife you have the stuff with the 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 uh, stock market you have like I've already mentioned about like uh, the, the NBA, the MLB and the NHL, the sports franchises. You have movies that have been postponed and delayed release dates and all. It's a lot of stuff that's going on, like stores closing, schools closing. Uh, I've even heard people, some people might have to get laid off from their jobs. Like it's a lot going on right now when it comes to this particular Virus, And that's why I really haven't gone into doing videos about, you know, this topic because it's a lot. And I just, you know, I figured let me just get everything out that I want to say in this video right here instead of doing a weekly live stream about it or doing video after video after video about it. Because even then I would get tired of having to talk about it, me personally. But kudos to those who are put the time and the effort into talking about this because you know it is information that people want to know and some people would prefer to hear it from a certain person rather than hear it from lamestream media because you know sometimes they're not gonna uh, well not sometimes that's an understatement a lot of times they're not going to put out the information that is needed to put out there when it comes to this they're they're bound they're bounded by contract I guess you can say we're like freelance journalists, so we're not bonded by a contract. So there's really no way that you can say, oh, we can't say this. We can't say that. But that's pretty much my reasoning as to why I have not and probably won't 
do video after video concerning this particular virus because trust and believe I could but then that's all my channel would turn into you know because that's what's been dominating the news outlets lately like you, you can turn on to any network whether it's local news or world news and that's all they are talking about on Twitter. That's all that is trending pretty much number one every single day since this thing really blew up. You can go on Instagram and they're posting a bunch of memes and videos, and all types of stuff talking about it. Like it, it's at this point, you can't escape it. So it's like this is something that's just going to have to run its course just like the Ebola situation and how, you know, with SARS and, and Zika and H1N1 and swine flu and all of that stuff, that they all had their moment when it was like that. But I think this one might take the cake because those were a little bit more contained. They weren't as wise. This, it wasn't as widespread as this one. But like I said, this is just going to have to run its course. And when it dies down, it will. And then people will go back to their lives as if this did not even happen. Like I said, people don't even talk about Ebola no more. People don't talk about swine flu no more or West Nile virus or anthrax. And a whole bunch of other stuff that has happened over the years. And I'm talking about all the stuff that I'm mentioning right now happened in the last 20 years. And the thing is, I was alive and lived through all of the things I just mentioned and then some. So that's pretty much it, you know. But I'm just going to say this. Definitely be safe. Stay clean. Wash your hands. Don't be out here acting like Adrian Byline talking about you. Don't wash your hands at home and anything like that. Just stay safe. Stay healthy. Eat the right foods. Because it also go take into account the kind of stuff that you're putting into your body as well. That plays a huge part as well. And just like I said, just be mindful of your surroundings. You know, like if you don't want to go out into an open crowd, please avoid open crowds. And stop going up there and buying up all those masks. They said that those masks don't really do anything. And you're actually hurting like doctors, offices and dentists who need those masks for themselves when they're cleaning people's teeth or doing checkups and all types of things. They don't have that. They can't see no patients. So definitely be mindful because you have a lot of people out here who are panicking for no good reason. But that's what happens when fear is instilled. When fear is instilled, people lose their minds. But I'm being very calm about this because, like I said, we went through this type of thing before. It's just that this one's a little bit more intense than previous, uh, I guess you can say, epidemics. But I'm going to end the video on this note right here. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Have your notifications turned on and I will talk to you in the next one.